so what's with all this uh, this headdress in the Middle East? Well, here in Kuwait, um, people tend to wear this, which is uh, a white color, which is called uh, Ghutra. Ghutra. This is called the uh, Igal, which holds uh, this in place. And uh, from my cultural experience, the Kuwaitis usually have this uh, this middle bit dipped here. Um, so. Like I said, Kuwaitis will typically wear the white colour and it will be with this little V-shape here, inverted V-shape. Uh, in Saudi Arabia, they'll wear a different type of uh, head cover, which is like the white and red checked one, which is called uh, Shimar. Shimar. And um, I, I wear both uh, when I you know, go to go out and things like that. I just, I just like it. I think it looks nice. It's very practical because when I'm working around outside, it keeps my neck, my white skin covered from the sun. But at the same time, you would also see Kuwaitis wearing the red and white checked one. That could, could be because they just like it. Um, or maybe their Qabila, the, the tribe which their family comes from, uh, originated in Saudi Arabia. So that's, uh, that's another thing, you know, there's a lot of different tribes. Tribe sounds like a very old fashioned word, but it's, um, it's like family, you've got the family group, if you like, for more, more of a like modern, uh, British uh, term and there's no like uh, um, hierarchical structure on who can wear it and who can't wear it I generally find people in Kuwait very very happy to see me wearing their national dress I like wearing the national dress I think it looks nice it's very comfortable and convenient and the people like it so it's a it's a win-win for me so I hope that this will help people with the cultural understanding of um, the Middle East especially the what we call the Khalij the Gulf area and uh, let me know if you have any questions if I don't know the answers I will ask for you